I have uh, separated the goblin from his puppet. As you can see in different base colors, uh, this helps later when we come to part 2 of this. Uh, <clears throat> most of it is used, you, no, not most, all of it is used with just one brush. It's soft when you uh, don't push down and it's at the same time e really easy to make hard edges. Uh, which is uh, something that will come up pretty much all the time when I do uh, shadows and such. As you can see on the chin of the puppet. <coughs> uh, and uh, I really really think uh, the hard edges is a much better foundation when you do color than uh, the softer indirect light kind. <coughs> and uh, another thing, uh, as you can see I use uh, clip layers. Uh, there are different ways in different programs. Uh, both uh, Clip Studio and uh, Sai has sort of a box you click in to start to make it treated as a clip layer, which means it adds only on top of the layer below. That's not one of those. And uh, that means I can't really draw outside of these basic uh, color layers I did. As you can see on the edges of... I, I, uh, Photoshop it's a bit more tricky, you need to right click on the layer and it's, it's in there somewhere anyway. And... Uh, when it comes to shadows, uh, it's one of those things that are easier if you have a proper color wheel, because then you can pick the color that uh, the, uh, you use regularly uh, and then uh, shift it towards colder or uh, warmer, and this helps give it a bit more life. Because shadows are not. Shadows contains different colors than uh, the normal layers. Uh, or. How do you describe it? Uh, normal light consists of lots and lots of colors. And. Uh, depending on the shade, it will uh, bring out some of those, that, uh, and uh, at the same time uh, deflect others, which means that mostly what we associate with uh, shadows are they're a bit colder. Uh, while things in uh, that has direct sunlight tends to have a little more warmer hues. Um, so yeah, uh, <clears throat> uh, This is in effect on the piece of cloth that the puppet has. Uh, and most of the things I've done in this one so far I could have done with uh, just one clip layer, but sometimes it's easier to just use more because then you can turn them off and on and there are pros and cons of all of those. Uh, 
the good thing about if you uh, had kept it in one layer, it would have been a bit easier to uh, mix the colors. Uh, I think I struggled a bit at some places. Yeah, and now we're into uh, um, a layer, clip layer, setting a clip, clip layer at uh, overlay and draw with some of the warmer hues and this will make it, yeah, you know, there's some direct light and, and then uh, colder color in the shadow. <coughs> And uh, with uh, these kinds of layers, you have to uh, change the opacity quite a bit. Otherwise, it just blows it right out, as you could see earlier. And then you just, uh, as I mentioned, it's just one brush, uh, kind of a bristle brush. Uh, uh, but yeah, it, it gives good shapes and uh, colors. Oh yeah, this. <laughs> Uh, this was just some experimenting. I really didn't know what I was doing, but that's what you do at times. You throw a lot of things at the wall and hope that some of it sticks in a good way. Um, but yeah, uh, this is the uh, advantage of having lots of layers, or at least more than one, in that you can change uh, individual things in even uh, in how they behave. Such as I think I have someone at uh, darken, which means it just affects the lighter colors and leaves the darker ones as they are and uh, yeah Pretty much finished soon, uh, but as you can see, I haven't used any airbrush or something like that, and I still managed to get some soft and some uh, uh, edges to the light, and at the same time, more harder ones, which gives it shape, and I think that's something you should try and work on. <coughs> 